so me and my mum we decided to leave the house for a bit for a bit and you know just do some shopping because it's literally the end of a month and uh turns out we sort of ran out of shopping i'm actually taking my phone and um do you guys want me to do a video of what's inside my bag maybe i should do that once i'm actually home and show you guys what's inside my bag anyways so my mom and I, I mean, I, I was actually requesting my mom. I was like, please, let's just go. We haven't gone out in so long, so we really need to go outside. So now we're actually leaving the house, and I'll see you there. Bye. Hey guys. So as I start this video, um, my question is to you guys: is how to become an influencer. I keep telling my friends and um, literally people around me is to start influencing people or just to post anything on youtube or tiktok but i've realized that even though that i keep giving people the same advices it seems like i can't really keep up with the advices that i keep telling other people because posting on social media is actually quite hard especially when you've got uni to go to and not just that on top of that sometimes hate comments do get me and i will tell you like the other day i had this person like literally a man telling me he was at first he was like oh like the way you show off your body is nasty and i didn't like that okay i didn't because that comment got to me look normally when a when a person randomly tells me that sister i think you should wear a hijab i think you should dress up more decently i wouldn't fight back and i would just take it okay i would just take whatever this person has to say but come on there is a way of telling people how to dress up how to be all nice how to follow the religion nicely without being too aggressive or coming too aggressively like why are you being so aggressive brother like what is wrong with you so while this brother was explaining to me and was telling me how i dress up for, in a very haram way like i understand that you're trying to look out for me and obviously as a muslim we're all supposed to look out for one another but come on there's a way of telling people there's a way of telling other people to dress up nicely to dress up decently but please be nice at the end of the day you might see me so you might see me as some girl that posts on the internet and you might see me as some sort of a robot but at the end of the day i actually have feelings guys i am a human being we're all at adults here please let's be civil so obviously like i said this brother got to me and i snapped back like i was literally going off at him like with full force i was like oh shut up like who do you think you are you know even though as an aspiring influencer i am not supposed to react this way i am not supposed to behave this way with the people that are actually watching me but then again it like i said it got to me okay at some point it does get to me and obviously i do have to be civil and very professional because at the end of the day youtube and all that these are just a platform like it's my working platform i know i have to be professional 99.9% .9 of the time but i don't know you guys please like if you guys feel like giving advices to other people please be civil if you want people to listen to you please be civil stop being so rude stop being so mean like do you really think you shouting at me or yelling at me and telling me how to dress up is really gonna do a thing no it's not gonna do a thing i'm sorry it's not why because you're being rude and at some point, may Allah forbid, I have literally seen people literally getting pushed away from their religion. Why? It is because only because of their parents, because of the way their parents handle things and react to things. Like they're not supposed to do that. You don't like your kids. Be you don't like the way your kids uh, dress up or behave. Tell them. Tell them nicely. Be patient. You're not supposed to be rude with them. Please guys, we're all going through something, stop being so mean for no reason. And if you're like sad or if you're miserable, please go be miserable somewhere else, not my platform. Please, this is not a place for you to vent or not a place for you to be sad or be miserable. Please, please go be miserable somewhere else. I am completely aware of the way I dress up. I know what I'm wearing. I know what I'm doing. To be honest, even my friends here, when they see me dress up, they're like, Sharika, your dress up is not that bad. The only thing that you need to do is just wear a hijab. But other than that, like everything is okay. So please stop coming at my platform. Stop telling me that I'm haram. Stop telling me that I don't wear a hijab because I am aware of it and I can't see that. You don't have to tell me anything. 
And even if you do want to tell me something, even if you do want to give me advices, make sure that you're being civil because trust me if you're shouting on the comments if you're screaming then i can't hear you because all i can hear is the tone i can't read your comment i swear that because that's just how my brain works i think that's just how everyone's brain works Nah. <laughs> family, family. So we're done with all the shopping. Hey guys, so before that, uh, we went to Iceland and we actually bought some fish. And then after that, we also came to Asda to do our home shopping and all that. So normally we buy most of our groceries from Asda because um, it's just better. We do go to Lidl as well, but it's a bit too far from here. So that's why we normally, um, our go-to shop is Asda. And right now what I'm looking for is hold, so. So I just cashed out some money and now we're going home. It's literally night time. We've been out since four and now the time is, wait, let me check the time. I think it's eight o'clock now, wait. So this is what it looks like at night. Asda, it's closing down. Like literally all the shops are closing down. Wait, yep, it's eight o'clock. So now um, I think they might call the taxi and then after that we'll be going home. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit, bye. So we've put all the trolleys inside and the bags, bismillah.